Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a Windows 10 PC running slow. Now there's quite a few different reasons for your PC running slow. One could be the Windows Super Fetch uh, that is causing a problem. Also, there might be a Windows bug uh, on your system. Viruses and malware, which is normally my go-to because it does normally slow the PC right down. Outdated drivers can also cause issues. A Windows update running in the background without you knowing. A bad hard drive is my second thing that I normally go for and rogue software installed on the system. Now, over the years, I've seen a lot of PCs that have 100% disk usage, and this is a common sign for some of the things we talked about earlier. Normally, they point to a bad hard drive or a failing drive or malware. As you can see here, in 2020, people still download malware uh, without even knowing it. They will go and download pirate software off the internet and basically install that on their system and run uh, key generators and other types of things like that to get the software for free. What this does is causes you problems in the long run. You're going to end up with a silent running uh, process in the background, hogging your system resources, and it could be a backdoor for someone to remote in to your computer and this could be a sign that your disk is being used here you can see the hard disk is being used by 100 percent we had a quick glimpse of that malware being shown on the screen and then it disappeared and that is a common trait for people all of a sudden their pc will slow down they'll start playing games and all of a sudden their pc will grind to a halt i'm running malware bytes here the free version and already you can see it's starting to detect malware on the system that's because people in 2020 still believe that it's safe to download free programs randomly off the internet they will never learn and they will continue to do it and this is when you're going to get infected you will get that program for free but in the background it will install a nasty piece of malware on your computer you don't know what malware that is going to be installing on your system and basically that will be i.e a man in the middle which could be collecting all your banking details it could be a backdoor a remote uh, desktop type uh, software being installed in the background root kits uh, you know adware any type of malware uh, or virus on your system can be installed so running tools like malware bytes and hitman pro cleaning out your temporary files is normally one of the ways of speeding up your PC and removing all of this malware from the system. So I'm going to do another deep scan here. Always do a quick scan and then a deep scan of the whole computer, scan for rootkits and other types of nasties. And you're going to have to do a complete thorough scan of your system. Now, if you do online banking, it might be advisable to actually reformat the system and reinstall Windows and go to your bank and change your passwords for that account just in case there has been some sort of breach from your browser and if you're doing online banking they can literally collect all of the data all your key logging strokes and stuff like that you don't want to end up with more trouble uh, than you need uh, with malware on the system now what i've seen over the years of fixing pcs is people never learn they continue to download uh, from dodgy sites and they continue to download software that they haven't paid for and they end up getting infected with uh, malware or ransomware or rootkits or whatever it is on their system and it's normally plagued with that type of stuff and it will slow the pc down just as you see here you'll get 100 percent disk usage or 100 percent cp usage or both at the same time. And these can happen randomly at any time. So you have to be very careful. So you could be going about your day, playing your game, all of a sudden in the background, the malware will kick in and start working. It's going out and it's doing what it needs to do. Someone could be remoting into your PC without you even knowing it because you've just opened up a back door for them to get back into your system. So be very careful with what you're actually trying to do on the internet. So again, you can see here, I'm just cleaning this PC up here and I'll give you an example of just a quick, basic, simple cleaning process here, which is an extensive cleaning process, just a real quick cleaning process, just to see whether I can get this 
back to normality and get it back to a uh, zero usage. I'm just going to clean out all the junk files here using disk cleanup. And this will remove any sort of files that are hiding in temporary locations and app data and places like that. It will clean all those files out. And you have to really be careful with malware because it can be very difficult to remove if you don't know what you're doing. This is by no means a um, you know full in-depth malware removal video. This is just showing you an example of what can actually happen when you go on the internet and you start to uh, download dodgy uh, software off of these dodgy sites. I see it happen so much and it's so frustrating and yet people don't learn and they don't even realize their PC is infected with malware. Now, over the last uh, couple of weeks, we've seen you know two or three people coming on Discord asking for help and that their PCs have been infected with malware. And when you look at their system, you can see that they've been going to sites and downloading certain software and games and things like that. And of course, it's now infecting their PC and they don't realize uh, the you know magnitude of what that's actually doing. Now, of course, when you clean it all up, because these people are so used to doing it, they go and reinstall Windows and they go straight back to these sites and download it again because they just don't believe that is the problem. But it is. So you have to be careful what you're doing on your computer. Now, if you want to follow these simple steps to stay safe online, it's pretty straightforward. Don't click on any sort of malicious links that people send you or you're using on Discord or Facebook or any of those things. Don't click on them because you don't know uh, where they're going to, any short links or anything like that. Another thing is don't download any types of files off the internet from any untrustworthy source. If someone wants to share a file with you uh, or a, a zip file, or you're going to websites to download those files, whether it be software or programs, games, or anything like that, then don't click on them unless they are from the source itself. That way, you're not going to get infected. Use a decent uh, antivirus program with firewall or something like that on it to protect your system. You can also uh, you know, protect yourself by using two-step authentication for any of your sites that you use that you've got your content on and use really strong passwords and change them regularly. And you should be pretty much good to go and stay safe by using those simple methods. So as you can see, the system is now starting to act a bit more normal because we've removed that malware from the system. Now, this is just a really basic uh, couple of malware scans and adware scans we did on this system. But if your system is more infested and infected than this one, you may have to do more scans with different types of software, and you might have to use other techniques to remove that malware from the system. If you're not skilled enough, you might be better off just backing up your data and reinstalling Windows. It's that simple. Now, the last thing you want to get on your system is ransomware, which is everywhere on the internet. And if you get that, it's going to encrypt all of your data. And if you have no backups, you better hope that they release a decryption tool to decrypt those files so you can get your files back. There's no guarantee that that will ever happen. So you have to be very, very careful when you click in on files on the internet. Now, I just wanted to mention that uh, some of the things that I mentioned at the beginning of the video can also cause the PC to run really slow. You can have overheating, temperature problems. You could have buggy software. It could be a Windows update you know, bad hard drive, loads of different things we covered at the beginning of the video. So don't always think it's malware that is causing the problem. It can be other things that are related to that issue. I just wanted to cover this issue here because this is probably one of the most common ones where people just continually download uh, dodgy stuff from the internet and install it, thinking they're going to get something for free and they end up getting infected and also you might get the software for free, but you end up with an infection to boot. So be very, very careful. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one's been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Don't forget, guys, hit the like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. If you've got any problems with your computers and you want to get some sort of help or advice, you can always join our Discord server. The link will be in the video description. It's free to join. And I'll see you over there and try and help you the best I can. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all.
be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.